Hey everyone, this is Whitey, and in this video we are going to take a look at basic class abilities for hunters. Uh, these are the abilities that you have regardless of your talent specialization, and we're also going to look at some changes to how pets now work. Since we no longer have a talent point system to deal with, where we actually put talents into a particular specialization, we can now select talent specs for our pets. So we have tenacity for tank, ferocity for DPS, and cunning for DPS. Uh, apparently you're supposed to be able to change these at the class trainer, but right now in the beta I haven't been able to. But this is something that you can do. I haven't had a chance to try the system out yet, but I really like the way that it looks right now because you can alter any kind of pet that you pick up along the way, and they're not restricted to one kind of ability. So that's a really nice touch that I like in this expansion. I kind of miss the actual point system, but I can get behind this. Okay, so starting off with Ferocity Talents, we have Last Stand. Uh, your pet temporarily gains 30% of its maximum health for 20 seconds. After the effect expires, the health is lost. Uh, we also have Charge. It charges an enemy, immobilizing it for one second and increasing your pet's melee attack power by 25% for its next attack. Uh, Thunder Stomp deals X amount of damage to all enemies within 8 yards and deals threat, uh, generates threat. Blood of the Rhino increases healing effects on your pet by 40% and increases its armor by 20% and it reduces the chance it will be critically hit by 6%. In Great Stamina, it increases your pet's total health by 12%. And for our Ferocity Talents, which is DPS, we have Rabbit, which increases your pet's attack power by 50% for 20 seconds. Uh, Heart of the Phoenix, uh, when used, your pet will miraculously return to life with full health. Uh, Dash increases your pet's movement speed by 80% for 16 seconds. And Spiked Collar increases damage from your pet's basic attacks, as well as haste and critical strike chance by 10%. For a cunning spec, we have Roar of Sacrifice. It protects the target from critical strikes. 20% of the damage taken by the target is also taken by the pet. Bullheaded, which removes all movement and loss of control effects for 20 seconds, and reduces damage to the pet by 20% for 12 seconds. Dash increases your pet's movement speed by 80% for 16 seconds. Cornered, uh, when at less than 35% health, your pet does 50% more damage and has a 60% a reduced chance to be critically hit, and boar speed, which increases your pet's movement speed by 30%. Okay, and those are our three talent specializations for pets, uh, so we'll go ahead and move on to the hunters themselves and see what we got there. Okay, we got our three specs, uh, Beast Mastery, Marksmanship, and Survival. I've used Beast Mastery and Marksmanship a lot playing my Hunter. Survival is something that I have not actually used at all yet, so I don't know that much about that particular spec. But we can go now and take a look at our general abilities. For our changes that have occurred in the Hunter class, many of our old talents have become specialization skills. Our ranged weapons no longer have a minimum range. Uh, hunters can now equip either a ranged or melee weapons, but not both, uh, because the ranged weapon slot has been removed. and just like we covered, talent specialization can now be chosen for pets. You see there's our missing ranged weapon slot there, so we have to equip either a ranged or a melee in our main hand slot. Here's a brief look at our core abilities. We're going to be going through each of these in uh, the talent spec videos. And then here's our talents here. Okay, let's get back to page one. And let's see what we got. Arcane Shot, 65% weapon damage plus X as arcane damage. We also have Beast Lore, which gathers information about the target beast, showing damage, health, armor, diet, and special resistances. It also reveals whether the creature is tameable and what special abilities the tame pet will have. We have Aspect of the Cheetah. It increases movement speed by 30%. 
if the hunter is struck, he will be stunned for four seconds. Uh, there is a glyph that will allow you to take out the stun in exchange for a four second aspect cooldown if you are struck. I have called pet, which summons the inactive pet to your side. Aspect of the fox, it allows the hunter to activate steady shot, cobra shot, and barrage while moving and causes him to gain two focus whenever he is hit by a melee attack. In Camouflage, the hunter and their pet blend into their surroundings, untargetable by ranged attacks. It provides stealth while stationary and reduces the range at which enemies can detect the hunter. Hunters can lay traps from within Camouflage, but any damage done breaks the effect. This can be glyphed to allow the hunter to keep their stealth while they're moving instead of just stationary. So that's a really nice change to that effect. Uh, I just got my hunter to level 85 on the live realm about a month ago, so I haven't had a chance to use Camouflage all that much yet. There's a camouflage there. We also have Aspect of the Hawk. It increases ranged attack power by 10%. This can be glyphed to replace it with Aspect of the Iron Hawk, which also has a damage reduction. Concussive Shot dazes the target and slows their movement speed by 50% for 6 seconds. An aspect of the pack, all movement, uh, all party and raid members within 40 yards, well, their speed will be increased by 30%, and they will also be dazed if struck. We have deterrence. When activated, it causes the hunter to deflect melee attacks, range attacks, and spells, and reduces all damage taken by 30%. The hunter can't attack while it's active. Auto shot causes the hunter to shoot at the target automatically, and lasts until cancelled. And disengage. The hunter attempts to disengage from combat by leaping backwards, and it can only be used in combat. Dismiss pet sends the hunter's current pet away. Uh, this pet or another can be summoned after. Hunter's mark places the hunter's mark on the target, increasing the range damage of all attackers against the target by 5%. The target is visible through the hunter while hunter's mark is active, allowing the hunter to see through concealments. The target also appears on the hunter's mini-map. And we have Distracting Shot. It distracts the target to, uh, to attack you, but has no effect if the target is already attacking you. Uh, it can be glyphed to cause the target to, cause it to attack your pet instead. Kill Shot deals 300% weapon damage and can only be used on targets of 20% or less health. If Kill Shot kills the target, then the cooldown is instantly reset, but it cannot be reset more than once every 6 seconds. We're about to take a look at Evil Eye. Uh, Eagle Eye. It's one of my favorite hunter abilities. I use it all the time in PvP, especially in places like Arathi Basin with hills and valleys. So it allows the hunter to see uh, from a location other than where he is standing. It has an unlimited range. Um, it's usable outdoors. Master's Call. The pet attempts to remove all root and movement impairing effects from itself and the target and causes the pet to become immune to such effects. We have Feed Pet, which instantly restores 50% of your pet's total health. Men Pet, which heals the pet for 25% of his total health over 10 seconds. And Feign Death, which feigns death, tricking enemies into ignoring the hunter. Just like that. Misdirection, your current party or raid member targeted, will receive the threat generated by the hunter's next damaging attack, and for all actions taken for 4 seconds after. We have Flare. It exposes hidden and invisible enemies within 10 yards of the targeted area for up to 20 seconds. This is really good for anything that you're doing. It's especially great for PvP. So I'm just going to find area to throw my target at, and everything within that light-up area will show if it's stealth or in some sort of concealment. Multi-shot fires several missiles hitting your target and all enemies within 8 yards. Rapid Fire increases your ranged attack speed by 40% for 15 seconds. Tame Beast begins taming a beast to be the hunter's pet. If the beast's attention is lost for any reason, the taming process will fail. And then we have Revive Pet, which restores the pet to life. Tranquilizing Shot attempts to remove one enrage and one magic effect from the enemy. The scare beast causes a be scares a beast, causing it running into fear for up to 20 seconds. Only one beast can be scared at a time. And then we have Trap Launcher, which allows us to launch traps from a distance, which also comes in handy for dungeons and PvP. 
and try to shoot another trap, but instead I just laid it right on the ground. So, Scatter Shot is a short range shot that deals 50% of weapon damage and disorients the target for 4 seconds. It turns off the hunter's attack, it can be broken by further damage. Uh, then here's a look at our traps that we have here. We're down to four. I think we used to have five. Uh, so here are traps here. We have explosive trap, which causes X damage when the trap explodes and burns each enemy within 10 yards for additional X damage. Freezing trap, when this explodes, the first enemy to touch it is frozen for up to one minute. Any damage will break the effect and only one target can be frozen at a time. Uh, ice trap creates an ice lick that slows movement speed of all enemies within 10 yards by 50%. And Snake Trap releases venomous snakes to attack the first target to touch it. The snakes last for 15 seconds. There are glyphs available that add additional benefits to most, if not all, of the traps. I know that there's one that will allow Snake Trap to release four extra snakes. Uh, and then there's a couple for the ice and freezing traps. I'm not sure about the explosive trap, but when we get to the glyph video, we'll find out. And then we have Serpent Sting, which is our bleed and causes X amount of damage over 15 seconds. Widow Venom is a shot that reduces any healing received by the target for 30 seconds. Steady Shot causes 65% weapon damage plus X. And Control Pet allows the hunter to give, to men, give commands to their pet. Focused Aim reduces pushback from damaging attacks while casting Steady, steady Shot and Cobra Shot by 70%. Male Specialization will increase the Hunter's agility by 5% while wearing only male armor. Uh, tracking allows the tracking of beasts, demons, dragonkin, elementals, giants, hidden, humanoids, and undead throughout the tracking interface. And the tracking interface looks a little bit different now than it used to. Um, it's kind of been streamlined. So here's our interface here. And then here's our tracking selection here. And whatever we want to track, we can just add to this uh, checklist here. And it will track all those different things. Uh, True Shot Aura increases melee and ranged attack power of all party and raid members within 100 yards by 10%. And Stampede, which is level 87, it summons all of your pets to fight your current target for 10 seconds. So that one's going to be pretty neat. As soon as I get this hunter up to late 87, I'll make a video for Stampede. And that's our Hunter Basics. Uh, these are the general abilities that apply no matter what your talent specialization is. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. This is Whitey. Have a good day.